Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is a fan-requested comparison between Samson Douda, as Bob Ciccarello says, between Samson Douda 2023 and 2024 Arnold Classic, both versions here. And before I begin this one, guys, I have to say, if Samson Douda, if you're watching this one, I mean no disrespect whatsoever. I understand there's a lot of people out there, and realistically, I think the fans, there's a lot of people out there that want to see the best version of Samson Douda. We want to see him win, and as an athlete, I guarantee you guys, I guarantee you guys, Samson Douda wants that ten times more than any one of us. But having said that, he has since parted ways with Milos Sarchev. He was telling him how to lift the weights and uh, what food to eat, things of that nature. And now he's going to find somebody else to show him how to tell him how to lift weights and uh, show him what to eat. But ha having said that, guys, let's go through these shots and I'll give you my honest opinion. Which version was better? Keeping in mind, 100% respect to Samson Douda. I mean, there's not too many bodybuilders out there that I respect more. I reached out to him, and he actually messaged me back. There's a lot of IFBB pros that did not. Samson did, in fact, take the time, messaged me back. But it is very difficult to hear a little dingbat like myself critique. It, I'm, I can assume it would be if you're Samson Douda. He looks so incredible, and he lifted so many weights to get to this... 2024 form but the thing of it is if Milo Sarchev if he was not telling him to eat the right foods things of that nature he's not gonna see the true results of that training because I dare say he does look a little bit better last year he does he does there's more separation he has more confidence and people that don't understand bodybuilding they think oh we just didn't train hard enough the carb up uh, everything to leading up into that boom like he really nailed it 2023 you can see that the wheels much better much better but having said that we can't spend all day with one pose let's go to the front lat spread and i think it's about the same as the front double the upper body seems close seems very similar and maybe a little bit more on the lats for last year and that's a maybe, that's a maybe. But I would say for sure, his wheels look much better. And there's so many different factors that can lead up into that. I mean, if your legs are still sore from a previous training session, you could imagine they'd be a little bit smoother, say, if they were fully healed and then pumped up. Right? Yeah, well, I don't know. Here's another picture of that front lat spread and... Yeah, the midsection looks a little bit off this year as well, but I think it is the, the timing of the shot. But of course, if you do watch the video footage, do a side-by-side -side comparison. And I do not show video footage, guys. I don't want any copyright strikes or claims, things of that nature. But his midsection did look slightly trimmer last year. So whatever he did that year, probably a better combination. Turn to the side here, side chest development. Ooh, this is interesting. This is very interesting indeed. If you look at the lower half here, looks like this year he was much better. Hmm. Or do you guys think it's possible that the timing was off? Am I, am I making excuses for last year? No, of course I'm not. Look at this. Boom. He looks exactly the same now. So that sheds a lot of light on this subject of picture comparisons doesn't it i guess you you can really rig a comparison up to make any any version win the best bet as a bodybuilder is to always look good up there on stage so you can't get pictures of uh you looking bad but yeah take a serious look at this guys i think aside from maybe perhaps a carb up issue he does look like he has more muscle so if you have more muscle to play with, it's kind of a, you might not realize it if you're not carved up properly or peaked, peaked, might have nothing to do with carbs, maybe something else. Here's a side tricep and 
Of course, I, I have to reiterate on any pitcher comparison that I do of the same bodybuilder just to show the, the differences that they made. When they're not hitting the shot at the same spec, which he's not here, he's hitting it different. It's pretty difficult. It's impossible to really see. He does look awesome in the lower half. I will say that from the side this year. From the front, wasn't quite as impressed as last year, but from the side here, yeah, he's pretty darn good, guys. Look at his big man's chest from last year. Samson has a great big man's manly. Here's the, the poses that we've been waiting for. The back shots. And for some reason... Last year and this year, when he was doing his routines, he didn't open up like he is in previous years. You know, you open up when you hit that shot. And I'm sure he knows how to do it. I'm sure he knows how to do it. It just didn't work out to the, uh, the way. But I do believe this is good news for Samson's back development. He looks like he has much thicker traps and the lower lat insertions actually look a lot thicker. But like I said, guys, it's foolish to even compare these two these two pitchers. Let's go for the rear double. Hmm. Yes, yes, his back it does look thicker. Looks more three-dimensional in the lat insertions and the traps as well. But his arms don't look as pumped. And that that obviously has to do with your lead up, your prep to the to the show. If you're all jacked up, you can see his biceps, triceps bulging last year where they weren't this year but yeah his back does look thicker guys huh look at the lower half holy toledo 11 just unbelievable just unbelievable both arms louis i mean these try or these are uh, hamstrings last year his lower half definitely better no questions no ifs ands or buts look at the adductors glutes might even look tighter his condition looks pretty good both versions, but yes, the story here is from the front and from the back. From the side, it's debatable. Front and back, I think his wheels were bigger and better last year. And here's the most muscular. We don't have a abs and thigh. Just wasn't hitting it the same same way. Now, see, here he looks looks better this year in this picture. But like I like I showed you guys. Duh, he, if it's taken at the wrong time, like that side chest, his wheel looked smoother last year. So, very difficult to say. And the crab position, most muscular. Again, it is impossible to make any judgment on this one. It would be a personal preference. He's he closed up more. He had to open up a little bit more in the crab for last year. Which I guess you don't want to be opened up. You want to be closed in. You close them arms together. Looks good, guys. Samson Douda, he is one of, if not my favorite, of the current competitors. I have a few. I have a few. You know, your Crezos, your things of that nature, your Samson Douda's, Nick Walker's, things of that nature. But I, there, I don't want to disrespect the guy by saying he hasn't improved. I think his lead up, his prep to last year was better. Has he improved? Of course he has, guys. Of course he has. And now that he, you know, Milos was good for his time, now it's time to open up a different door and see if he can get to the Olympia. And Samson Dauda, Bob Chicarello. Bob must have asked him if he likes that. He must have told him he does like it. Have a great one, guys. Al, what are you doing? How about subscribing to my channel, please? And if you're bored, if you're in the mood, you can check out my latest video. It is a good one. And there's a whole bunch of videos in this playlist all stacked together. So, you know, you can watch every pose. Another one over here, too. One, two, three, diddly-dee.